I feel like most people don't even know what Jared Kushner sounds like, even though he's so influential now, because he rarely talks to the press. The only interviews we could find online uh, didn't have anything to do with national policy. It was just Kushner discussing his real estate business. Just one year ago, Jared Kushner was a nobody, at least as far as U.S. politics was concerned. Forbes magazine <clears throat> trumpeting on their cover. The man they credit with Donald Trump's victory, the president-elect's own son-in-law, Jared Kushner. Covering reaction to Trump's win. People said they were shocked, stunned. One man told us that this was all messed up. Trump has said Kushner could even play a key part in the Middle East peace process. While his role has fueled speculation, Kushner has quietly been taking steps to distance himself from his multi-billion dollar real estate business, Kushner Companies. Of all the financial titans and philanthropists of the 20th century, none are more complex or mysterious than George Soros. Like Carnegie, J.P. Morgan, and the Rockefellers, he amassed billions through ruthless business decisions. Recapitalize uh, the banks, and and then work on a better world order, where we work together to de resolve problems that confront humanity. When George W. Bush was president, Soros said. The main obstacle to a stable and just world order is the United States. When asked to explain, he answered, by declaring a war on terror after September 11, we set the wrong agenda for the world. Think about that. described him as a, an imposter and con man and, and a would-be dictator. Uh. By the way, Thiel was a supporter of Trump. Eric Schmidt, the former Google CEO, was not a supporter of Trump, but he recognized Jared Kushner's genius. He said, Jared Kushner is the biggest surprise of the 2016 election. Best I can tell, he actually ran the campaign and did it with essentially no resource. Yeah, Analysts say he's taken on more than any one person can handle. Many of the portfolio positions that uh, Jared Kushner has taken on have been ones that the brightest minds in government have not been able to fix. That was the most shocking thing in the story, that Eric, uh, Eric Schmidt big backer of Hillary, and also help them, her build her, her tech machine. If, she, if he's saying this is a big deal, watch this, this Kushner guy, I knew I had a story. Thirty-six-year-old Jared Kushner has no diplomatic experience, but he's become an envoy to foreign leaders, at times in place of the Secretary of State. If you can't produce peace in the Middle East, nobody can. 
President Trump declared that his son-in-law Jared Kushner could broker the toughest deal in the world, lasting peace between Israelis and Palestinians. Presidents just don't hire their family members. But Trump is doing more than that. Senior advisor Jared Kushner is making his unannounced visit to Iraq with the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. It's unusual Kushner would travel to Iraq before the Secretary of State, a sign of Kushner's growing influence. It's just particularly important to focus with Kushner on this idea that he is a power center all to himself. He and wife Ivanka, both practicing Orthodox Jews, are seen as being more moderate than Trump and have reportedly softened the president's policies on gay marriage and child. But no administration over the course of four decades has been able to solve the Arab-Israeli conflict. Barrick says with a new set of leaders in the Arab world wanting a solution, the timing is right. Kushner played a key role in February's visit from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Can I reveal, Jared, how long we've known you? Finessing the strained relationships with Mexico and working with the Canadian government are also Kushner projects, and he's now running a newly created office to integrate business ideas into the government. Jared Kushner at the helm of a newly unveiled office called the White House Office of American Innovation. We went to find Jared Kushner to ask him what his plans were. Walking to the office at 666 Fifth Avenue with his parents, he was offering no clues. Mr. Kushner, do you think you're going to get a job in the White House? Have a good day, thank you. Are you going to get a job? The disarming smile gave nothing away. Jared Kushner is now inside his company headquarters. Jared is perceived right now as a very, very powerful man in the land. He's Trump's golden boy. Yes. And Jared, I mean, you know, I did actually speak to Donald Trump um, on Friday and he told me how incredibly brilliant he thinks Jared is. He called him my son, not even son-in-law, my son.
presidential drama falling on the heels of Bannon losing his seat on the National Security Council, an overhaul approved by the president and endorsed by Kushner. Bannon sees Kushner and his allies as globalist Democrats, while Kushner regards the Bannon faction as harshly nationalist. His wording is interesting. Most people would say a stable and just world, but Soros, he said, a stable and just world order. That's because he is a globalist through and through. So I had no sense of guilt. Are you religious? No. Do you believe in God? No. Soros told us he believes God was created by man, not the other way around, which may be why he thinks he can smooth out the world's imperfections. The Hungarian Prime Minister accused Soros of trying to destroy Western culture, particularly its Christian roots. He said, Europeans must stick to our Christian values. Arben believes that Europe can be saved if Europeans take seriously the traditions, the Christian roots, and all the values that are the basis of the civilization of Europe. By the way, that's also true of the United States.